Hi, I'm Tomas Wachuska, the Chief Architect for ONOS. Today, I'm going to give you a quick demo of its capabilities. ONOS is a network operating system that was specifically built for service providers. It has been architected to support scalability, high availability and performance. It presents innovative abstractions at its northbound and southbound interfaces. It is also modular to allow for ease of support and customization. ONOS is a distributed system and runs as a cluster. The distributed core manages the state across instances and is the key component enabling scale and high availability. A pluggable southbound allows OpenFlow or other protocols to interact with network elements. Northbound abstractions and APIs ease application programming. ONOS abstractions include a global network view, allowing applications to program their view of the network and an application intent framework allowing them to specify what service they want from the network. Applications specify what they want and do not have to worry about all of the details of how to achieve it. Their intents are compiled into actionable objectives which are installed into the network. For example, an end-to-end -end connectivity intent compiles into two path intents. The resources used by the objectives are then monitored and maintained on behalf of the application. Links may go down, but ONOS will automatically reroute without application intervention. Today, I'm going to show you the user interface to ONOS and some of its features for scaling and high availability. On the center of the user interface, you see the network that ONOS has discovered. It is laid out according to GPS information. The view area can be adjusted by using pan and zoom gestures. If I want to move an element, I can easily unpin it and repin it. These icons represent switches, and these lines are the links connecting them. The switches have labels, and they can be cycled to present the most useful information about them or no information at all. Icons that represent end station hosts can be toggled on or off. By default, they're suppressed. In the upper left of the view, we see ONOS instances. It is easy to see which instance controls which switch by looking at the color. For example, these blue switches are controlled by this blue instance. In the upper right overview pane, we see some high-level summary information, including the number of intents and flows that are active. Presently, there are over 2,000 flow rules. You can also see the number of flows active on a link by looking at the number next to the link. These flows were proactively provisioned. Let me add another flow. It is easy to do. Simply multi-select two end station hosts and press the appropriate action in the multi-select pane. ONOS supports both proactive and reactive flows. If you want to see more information about an element on a screen, we can click on it and this flyout appears. This applies for any network element. You will note that this switch is an OpenFlow 1.3 switch, while this one is supports 1.0. ONOS can work with either version of OpenFlow. Also note that by selecting a switch, I can see how many flows there are egressing each link on that device. We can also choose to monitor all traffic traversing the network. If we want to view only the optical plane, we can select it here. To go back to both IP and optical, we select it here. Alternatively, for a better perspective on the packet and optical connectivity, we can select the oblique view. Now, let's take down a link. You can see that the flows were automatically rerouted. When we set up flows, we are using the intent framework. 
This northbound interface allows applications to ask for something from the network without specifying all of the details of how to get it. You can see the active intents for any selected network element. Now, let's add one more ONOS instance and rebalance the existing switches. In this manner, ONOS easily scales as you add more switches to your network. Now, let's kill the current ONOS instance. You can see that all the switches have changed to an alternate ONOS instance and no flows were disrupted. Also, the user interface has seamlessly switched over to another instance. I hope this short demo has given you a flavor of what ONOS can do. It has many more capabilities and I hope you will soon start using ONOS. Please join our community to help ONOS bring SDN to service providers. I look forward to working with you.